Hi, I'm Baldy, and welcome to another episode of Spot Political. How are you? And if you don't learn from what I'm teaching you, I'll fucking kill you! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's get to the fucking news, okay? All right. Now, Florida police. Keep in mind that Florida is a shithole run by Democrats are involved after an encounter between four black students and an armed white man who was trying to prevent them from burglarizing and entering a building. And it went viral. You know what they said about the white man? They said, we really think he was trying to provoke us, cause see, see, we voted for Obama in 2008 and 2016, even though we weren't old enough to vote at the time, but the fucking nothing. You knew not to enter the building, you knew you were full of shit for trying to enter the building, and you wonder why the white man was armed. Oh, by the way, speaking of black people, Barack Obama was only part black, which further proves that his entire presidency was a fraud. It didn't count. It was nothing more than a sham. It was non-existent. So we didn't have a president for eight years. We had a despot, illegal immigrant, Muslim, Islamic, jihadist, Kenyan from Africa originally, who illegally immigrated here. And 69 and a half million dumbasses were stupid enough to fucking vote for this piece of crap. Unbelievable. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> oh my god. And you know, as of this recording, nearly 2,500 people are reading this right now. Oh, oh, by the way, by the way, I should also point out I should also point out, you know, the NFL, it's going to go bankrupt. Even with all the money that it gets, it's still going to go bankrupt anyway. People are going to stop watching the product. It's only a matter of time. Not that it means anything, but of course it means shit! Right? Yeah, you knew what you were getting into. And, and to the four black men who, who tried to blame it on the white man who was simply preventing them from committing the crime by breaking and entering into the apartment, you guys are stupid as hell. I'm sorry, you guys are just dumb. Go get yourself alive for once. All of you, all four of you black people that were fucking Blaming it on the white man. You knew that you were at fault, so you should have been blaming it on yourselves, but like the democratic jackasses that you are, the BLM motherfuckers that you are, you choose instead, oh, he was really trying to provoke at that, man. And, and now that we ain't gonna do nothing wrong, and he had a gun in his hand, racist, racist, racist. Bullshit. Absolute bollocks. And I can tell you that with a straight face, and I will win every single time. That's the reality we have to live, people. Welcome to reality. Population truth. Ah! <laughs> Look at that shit! Oh my god! What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, 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 listen, listen. A pink tutu, a ballet garment, has become the focus of a critical race for a United States Senate seat in Arizona. 
since Martha McSally won the Republican primary for the United States Senate seat in Arizona at the end of August, she has charged out of the gate with a clear attack on Democratic, Nazi, fascist, socialist jackass, Kirsten Cinema. How fitting is that name, Cinema? They can't even, her parents couldn't even spell cinema right. So they mistaken the word cinema as having an S in it when it obviously has a C. Also, her last name literally implies that she is full of sin. McSally, an Air Force veteran who was the first woman to fly a fighter jet in combat, aired a television commercial that touted her own military service after the 9-11 attacks and mocked cinema for taking part in an anti-war protest while wearing a pink ballet garment, according to McSally. And, you know, McSally is absolutely right, because that's exactly what it was. It was, a, it was a ballet garment. It was a tutu. Meanwhile, there is a user on Facebook called Keeping It Real that says, I think voting for a person who has life experience, has been challenged to make hard decisions, has proven ability to lead, and so on. Bob says, I just like seeing the words independent mind and centrist used to describe someone who is realistically running for office in an election like this. Of course, who would be? While we were in harm's way in uniform, Christian Cinema was protesting us in a pink tutu and denigrating our service, McSally said in the ad, which has been knocked by fact checkers as misleading. Now, are the fact checkers really fact checkers or are they just frauds? Are they just parrots of Rothschild and Rockefeller? Cinema a 42-year-old congresswoman is running as an independently-minded centrist and rarely mentions that she is a Democrat when, in fact, she is a Democrat and a huge jackass. McSally, a 52-year-old congresswoman, is intent on reminding Arizona voters of cinema's hard-left past. Cinema who's been in Congress since 2013, was an anti-war and Green Party activist nearly 20 years ago, but is now a jackass who touts her willingness to work with Republicans, even though we all know she's not John F. Kennedy, and she's a hell of a lot more like Nancy Pelosi than she ever was John F. Kennedy. And by the way, John F. Kennedy, you know, he was the greatest, the greatest non-Republican president of any country in human history. There will never be another one like him. You know why? Because the entirety of the Democratic Party are full of complete, mindless jackasses. And that's why. So if you never needed to know why, that's why. Notice how I parodied Simon Miller. I mean, I like Simon Miller's stuff, you know? I think he's a great guy. He's a professional wrestler, too, I heard. Not that it means anything, but of course it's worth pointing out. Because we need to point that shit out. Hell yeah! <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we get to some news for today on my frequent shitting all over the nitwit fascist league of losers. Because they're losers, obviously. So, ex-NFL player, a veteran, oh, of all people, a veteran, speaks out about the protests. Exactly. Nate Boyer says his TV appearance exactly. to discuss the anthem protests was canceled seemingly because of a lack of tweets from President Donald John Trump. Is it because they shadow banned him too? Because if that's the case, then I'm glad I'm shadow banned from Twitter for life. Because they're turning into a shithole. The likes of which not even California can match. And, and it makes sense since Twitter is located in California. Right? Anyway. 
2,456 of you people are reacting to this. Let's get to it now. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. Veteran and former NFL player Nate Boyer says the media and fans are missing the point of the player protests. This is according to AOL.com's Kelsey Driscoll. So, kind of makes a lot of sense. Because the point of the player protests is to impeach him! Impeach Footy Bad! David and Ben and Trap Man! Fuck, I don't know. I mean, it's just. You, you understand, that's the whole point of the Colin Kaepernick effect. Because all these dumbass, retarded, spoiled athlete fascist players in the NFL, that's that's all they do. <laughs> Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! <laughs> what a bunch of fucking morons. Uh, on Yahoo, Janet says... I will agree with what he says here. Working alongside law enforcement, working alongside those in office, that is how you really make change, is what Nate Boyer said. He said that if you really want to see things improving, if you really do love our country, just make sure you're doing stuff off of the field a lot. Ken, who is obviously a veteran for whatever reason he's a veteran too who isn't he says that i respectfully agree with boyer and as a veteran also believe it is disrespectful to kneel during the playing of the national anthem but in this country he has the right to do this and we as consumers and viewers also have the right and the choice of whether to continue to participate in supporting the NFL while this is going on. Yahoo Worry Wojo says, Key point, Kaepernick opted out of his contract. His decision. Now he has time, lots and lots of time, to sit and protest. Rob T. of Yahoo says, they have rights as protesters, and we have rights as consumers and fans. From Yahoo, where's the justice? Where is it? Says, the only thing that is misunderstood is that this is not the time and place to be doing this. If they have something to protest and say, they should be doing it on their own time. So if it is truly what they believe in. They have a job to the fans in the sport. This is not a political arena. Once again, if it is that important to them to do it on their own time, they're always in the news and this should not be done on the field during the anthem. Players and I turning, which none of us want. Well, at least I can agree with that. I mean, you wouldn't agree with that, obviously. Yeah. And, and you know, the, the, you know, Chuck, from Yahoo says it best. And the NFL and players don't get it. The players aren't supporting anything. It is a respect issue. To get respect, you must show respect. Kneeling when the anthem was played or any other show of disrespect is not welcome. You couldn't have said it better, Chuck. Luckily, his last name is not Schumer, so... Thank God for that. And now it's time for everyone's favorite game. We call this... And we got some of that news from... Pedo Wood. I mean Hollywood. Hollywood's foot of pedophiles, so it just makes sense. So, Denzel Washington, who's obviously a Republican in a Democratic pond of shithole molesters of children has made his name in Hollywood as a star who isn't afraid to speak his mind. However, his latest gambit has industry sponsors seething. 
Washington caused a frenzy last week when he and Dr. Phil McGraw unveiled their new erectile dysfunction cure on his show. Because who in Hollywood doesn't want to be erectilely dysfunctional? Of course. Dr. Phil and I have done our research, spoke to specialists and industry insiders, he said, and they helped us create this product, DSN Code Black, and boy, can I tell you, this stuff is potent. I've tried Viagra, I've tried Red Jensen, I've tried Cialis. DSN Code Black blows them all away. Yeah, it's because Viagra and Red Ginseng and Cialis do not work. They don't work! Not with the money! So if you're gonna cure your ED, try DSN Code Black. Because if you're in the black, that means you're making a profit. Whereas, if you're in the red and you're trying Viagra and Red Ginseng and Cialis, that can only mean one thing. You're deep in shit and you're not getting out. The product is repeatedly selling out within minutes, and Denzel Washington says his one priority as CEO is to source enough products to be able to adequately service the demand. His men's health line is 90% cheaper and five times more effective than others on the market. By the way, in, in other unrelated but similar news, I went shopping at Lowe's Foods yesterday. Or should I say it was more like Monday night? No, actually, no, it wasn't Monday night. It was actually, it was Saturday night. Let's just say that. It was Saturday night. And those, those skinny, those four skinny ice cream sandwiches, four of those for six bucks, 170 calories. Meanwhile, you could get two packs of 10 ice cream sandwiches from Pet in a box Two boxes of those each for four dollars. How many are each of them? A hundred and fifty calories. Liar! You skinny dipping fucks! Don't want to promote your skinny ice cream sandwiches. You're lying fucks! Liar! So I just thought I'd point that out because reasons. I need to point that out because. If, if you point shit like that out in a store and you can spot the false advertisement for what it is, then it's more than likely you're doing it right. Meanwhile, back to the main story, Mel and Hatsman Titans, Cialis and Viagra were pissed off. They were pissed. Calling for his apology and calling on studios to drop them from their projects. If those companies thought Denzel Washington was going to back down, they clearly didn't know anything that he's about. He appeared again on Dr. Phil the next day, not to resign, but to offer viewers free samples. I won't let anyone intimidate me. He fired back during his appearance. I'm so confident in the product Dr. Phil and I have created that I'm offering free samples to our viewers. DSN Code Black is the product of thousands of hours of research and development. I wouldn't talk about something on air I don't believe in and have tried myself. Denzel Washington's words, coupled with online reports of amazing results, got us here at Daily News. This is them talking. This is Daily News talking. But it got us here at Spot the Liberal about DSN Code Black. So, after some research, this is what is found. DSN Code Black is right for you because it enhances sexual performance, shortens recovery time, boosts your testosterone, maximizes your sexual stamina, and naturally boosts energy. From week one, it has been proven to work. Absolutely yes. Well, that's my day! Hey! That's what we're talking about now! Okay! Now, here's some way to really fuck your day. You know, you know YouTube, right? YouTube, in case you haven't figured out for the last 12 years, 
is a shithole. Posted by some guy who obviously deleted the comment that he made, the original post, for whatever reason. YouTube is a shithole. 99% of YouTube celebrities are a bunch of talentless, retarded, libnut fucking retards who only make low effort circle jerk and clickbait videos. Their fans are a bunch of retarded 12 year old brats. UI is terrible. You can't downvote a comment anymore because it's democratic privilege. And YouTube have a strong liberal bias. Conservative content is either demonetized or removed. Now, here's where this really gets into high gear. The YouTube celebrity culture is a cancer. I agree. I feel like Ethan from H3H3 got caught up in YouTube celebrity bullshit, which is why his videos suck now. His podcast with John John pissed me the fuck off. Going to this call, you don't step on the snake. Patreon backers get early access to my videos. Well, let me tell you something. I am not getting a Patreon. And I know I've said this in videos before, but people have the memory span of a goldfish, so I'm going to remind you again. I am never getting a Patreon. Because Patreon does not allow you to get everything that you raise. At least half of all the income that you generate goes directly to Rothschild and Dynasty, which is why I prefer to have a Ko-Fi account. You know, buy me a coffee. Because I like coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee! Ha <laughs> Coffee! I feel like the site went down the toilet for your seconds after they started letting people make money. Or when Google bought it. It was in 2006, 12 years ago. I would argue you two went down the toilet when Vine died, and all the big Viners moved to YouTube, including the Paul Brothers. Actually, the comment section. You know, let's let's talk about the comment section. Tigerphobia said in this very thread that was obviously deleted seven months ago. The YouTube comment section is the worst thing the internet has to offer. The comment section just needs to be removed. Actually, the comment section is fantastic. When it comes to calling out bullshit of big studios and media organizations, the comment sections are to put a people voice into this agreement, which is why they're often disabled. Mildly disturbing. And by the way, that was a reply to Tigerphobia by P Mime, your rare content. Obviously. Now, meanwhile, there was a post that got 29 points that was deleted that says, It's like saying television sucks, when in reality, you just don't know how to seek good movies or programs. Mildly disturbing. So, cable TV doesn't this expose? Some random guy. The stupid should not be allowed to breed. Fifteen hundred plus channels, and some fucking hell, there's literally nothing good on! Well, whose fault is that? Television died when CNN was founded. And that wasn't too long ago. It might seem like it, but all that time goes by like clockwork, buddy. And believe you me, it goes by like clockwork. By the way, in, in, in unrelated news, Rusev Day are going to be facing the new day for the SmackDown tag titles at Hell in a Cell. Because every day is Rusev Day! (laughs) 
okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I was perfectly timed that, that phone there. My smartphone is really smart. It's actually one of the few smart smartphones left. Every other smartphone is a dumb phone. I don't know. Ugh. God, what the hell have I done to this episode? It's, it's become a real clusterfuck, hasn't it? It's become a real cluster. Oh. This is really starting to turn into Schnicky's Symphony 1 real fast, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, I just... <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to be honest, man. I don't care anymore. I stopped caring a long time ago. By the way, this episode of Baldi's Basics is brought to you by... Shotgun! Applied directly to the forehead. Shotgun! Applied directly to the forehead. Shotgun! Applied directly to the forehead. Then pull the trigger and watch your life literally go up in smoke. Of course, not that it matters or anything, but you need to know the bastard truth where you need to kill yourself. Simple. It's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid in part by suckers like you. Now get out, this video's over, get off of my fucking channel if you don't like what you see. But if you like what you see, then feel free to stay on as long as you want. I'm here all night. Thank you and good night. Laters. That means this video is over, so go to another one. <laughs>